Okay, so what we are going to see now is uh, we'll see the model for software testing. So as you can see here, this is a basic model for software testing in which um, our uh, software is a combination or we, we can call it a system which is nothing but a combination of hardware and software and the, this system the entire system is developed based on our requirement okay so uh, the system will have both hardware and software that that will make the entire product then we have developer that develops the software in whatever environment that uh, is required or that is asked by the consumer or client okay now you see we have something called testability of uh, a software what do you mean by testability if our software the software that a developer is developing is not well written or it's a, if it's a badly written software then it will be very difficult to test that is what testability means okay so testers what a tester will do is once uh, the requirement is done then this tester will uh, based on the specifications in the requirements uh, the tester will develop a bug model okay so here in the bug model we will have what is the nature of the bug that may, may occur uh, what are the bugs that are expected what is its nature type all that will uh, and how exactly these bugs can be um, uh, retrieved in case it exists so bug testing strategy all that they will derive okay so every type of bug we cannot predict but as a tester tester cannot predict but uh, you know they will try to come up with an um, uh, inclusive bug model that will have all the expected type of bugs okay so the tester will come up with a bug model so what do you mean by a bug model you see um, okay a flight um, uh, wheel controlling software is what we are developing okay then what is the bug that can happen when uh, the landing sequence is initiated the wheel should come out of the the wheel should open up and it should come out right so you see if the software is not giving that instruction at the right time then that is a bug so what is the nature of the bug the severity is more here if that bug exists in an in a software in an aircraft then the aircraft can crash right so the nature of the bug can be severe how exactly do we need to test so and find out if the bug exists or not right so these are the things that the bug model will will have okay now um, you see testers will work based on the bug model and uh, then uh, what do we have based on the bug model okay based on the critical um, uh, based on criticality of the bugs uh, that is identified uh, then based on the software type the so uh, the develop the testers basically will come up with a testing methodology that will actually guide on how the testing has to be performed or what is the goal of the testing okay now if the testing results are um, the, so whatever the testing goals are will be in line with our requirements so once if the if the testing is successful then um, then you know it is fine otherwise you know the bug model should be uh, the bug model should be redefined and testing uh, method should be redefined okay now uh, the uh, now software basically we we will build the software based on analyzing what environment do we have uh, and all that 
will be taken into consideration while uh, you know, developing or building a software. Okay. So basically, in the in the testing process, the uh, software under consideration will also have. So here, uh, uh, the model of testing we uh, um, in in this you know we concentrate on the entire testing process, and uh, then hmm, also uh, you know while uh, designing the software, the whole point should be on testability we should design and code the software so that at every point uh, the tester should be able to test okay so testability uh, is one major point that should be uh, taken into consideration uh, then another thing is as i told testing methodology will be defined based on the bug model what is the approach that we need what is a testing strategy do we have a roadmap to identify all the bugs that may exist based on the requirements then do we have some risk factors that i that is identified uh, so all that will be uh, will be planned based on the testing methodology okay so this is all about the model for software testing uh, i hope you guys understood the uh, concepts that we discussed today. So, hope you will be prepared well for uh, tomorrow's uh, discussion class. Please watch or I hope uh, you watch and keep note of all the important points that we have, uh, uh, we have discussed. So, one thing uh, what we discussed um, today, the main point that we have to remember is there is something called exhaustive testing in which we try to test all the possible test cases which is not practical and it is impossible to achieve and it is not possible to identify all the bugs that is present in a uh, software. So next in the coming classes what we will do is we will first learn the terminologies associated with software testing and then we will move on to the testing process one step closer to the testing process okay uh, so thank you hope uh, you all are safe have a good week